Hey guys, what's going on back with another video? How's everybody doing? Uh, we're continuing with uh, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered uh, in 4K on PC. Uh, so this mission is the only easy day was yesterday. Probably one of the coolest missions uh, of all time. So I gotta see if it echoes in, uh, in, in my video when I edit this. I mean, I don't really edit because it's, you know, it's, it's kind of a pretty straightforward video. But uh, if you notice it echoes, it's because there was a bunch of stuff in this room that I took out. Because I'm moving, I and so I'm kind of in the process of doing that. You're Another thing I've been busy with, uh, and so now I, got, I just noticed talking that it like kind of sounds Prisoner different here. But in any event, this is one of the coolest missions of all time. Of Basically, uh, what it is is you've got Captain Price uh, is in the Gulag, like the Russian, you know, uh, Gulag, and so we need to get to the Gulag, spring him loose. But in order to get there, it's kind of like. So They've got these, like, you know, like, the gulags, like, deep behind enemy lines. It's, like, way, you know, in there. Like, on some, like, you know, uh, like, you know, Gene Hackman, you know, type thing. It's, like, you, we gotta go way back into, like, some kind of, like, Soviet, you know, action. Like, it's, like, friggin', what was the movie with, uh... Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Owen, what the frig is it? You know, you know the movie I'm talking about, Pioneer Lines? Anyways, that, that's kind of what's going on. But in order to get there, uh, we have to take over these, uh, like, Russian oil rigs. Because that's kind of like, you know, you can't get to where we gotta go because they'll just shoot us down. So we gotta raid these oil rigs and clear our path to get to the Gulag to spring Captain Price loose. Uh, this is like one of the most convoluted plots I've ever seen. I don't quite understand. I mean, I think like Captain Price has got like the intel we need and like knows some stuff we gotta know. So we gotta get to him and uh, spring him out of the Gulag. You know, springing people out of a Gulag is like, you know, if you ever had a chance to spring somebody out of a Gulag... Uh, you should probably do it. Like, it's just generally, like, a nice thing to do. Uh, so, in any event, uh, th like I said, one of those badass, cool missions, uh, of all time. So, basically, we came out of a... I don't even know if this is a real thing. Uh, but we, we came out of a... This water looks very cold. Like, we're, like, looking at the underside of an iceberg. Like, I'd have to think. It's, like, either a Coors Light commercial, or it's, like, a really cold-ass scenario going on here. So... Uh, we've got, like, these, like, little, like, s mini submarines that came out of the big submarine, and we're kind of, like, riding this to the, uh, you know, we're, we're basically taking this up, which is weird, because we're going up, but the bubbles are going, I don't know, so it like, comes kind of, like, you know, like, I have, like, a PhD in fluid dynamics, but in any event, uh, this is the bottom of the oil rig. Oh, my God, it looks so cold. Uh, in any event, uh, we're going up here, and, uh, yeah. We're basically doing that, so let's go. Oh, I think I remember this. I remember this when we come up here, and there's like this Russian dude smoking a cigarette or something, and we like just jack him right off. Oh, wow, look at this. This 4K looks pretty good. So, like I was saying before, like, you know, like this is great, but the real moneymaker for Modern Warfare 2 was the multiplayer. Uh, and they didn't re like, they remastered this. Which I'd have to think is more difficult than remastering a multiplayer. Because multiplayer, you just, you just make the maps look nice. And then that's basically it. Yeah, this is like you gotta do a whole, like every level and like a whole mission. Uh, but that multiplayer, if they remaster that, I'll pay $60 just for that. That's how much fun it was. Uh, so anyways, uh, we're moving up here. We've got, uh, let me just acquaint myself. So we've got grenade launcher. We've got claymores. Alright, we're, 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 we're tooled up. Oh, I kind of remember this now. Yeah, so then we got... They got, like, hostages on the oil rig. So we got to, uh... We got to rescue them, too. Whoa. So this is, like, a combination of, like, uh... The Hunt for Red October. Um... Like, what was that other one? The Rock watching... Oh, that was the next mission. So, anyways, it's, it's, it's Hollywood out the wazoo here. Uh, all right, let's do it. Let's get the big pizza box looking breach in charge and stick that up there. Boom! Oh, well, that's right. We're gonna do that. Oh, who's who? I don't even know. Okay, I got my guys. This guy can't hit anything. I had to get his guys, too. All right, so here's uh, our... Got the, the hostages rescued. So we gotta uh, take this thing over and... Uh, Basically, once we do that, we call in the cavalry and uh, move on to the gulag. So I remember, for some reason, it's weird what you remember, given how old this game is. And it's weird, like, what you remember, what you don't remember. But I remember playing this on Veteran. I don't know if I did the whole game on Veteran, but I remember doing this on Veteran. And there's, like, a part up here where I think there's, like, a you get, like, a thermal scope. Which, like, I don't really remember where that comes from. Maybe you pick up it, or you... Yeah, I don't remember. But there's, like, this part with, like, smoke... 
in thermal, and I remember getting to that on veteran. This was like a friggin' decade ago, so my memory's not super uh, accurate. But I remember that part was just a a pain in the keister. Like I remember, do like I just could never get through that. Eventually, I did, but oh, oh. Okay, I, ba I basically have to do everything. It's like like group projects in college. Like I'm carrying the whole. What is that? All right, so we got some kind of like Russian action. Enemy radio. I think we're gonna have company, sir. Set up a plan B. Get some C4 on those bodies. Go. All right, so we got bar. All right, so we're putting C4, which like that's a lot of. Yeah, that's a lot of C4. Um, and I guess like, you know, like. This is a pretty convoluted way to do this. So basically, they're coming for us, and we're gonna, like, try to get it over on them here. Come on, get up. Upsy daisy. There we go. Alright, so. Is this the thermal thing? No, that's some other thing. Nobody friggin' wants that. Um, yeah, usually when it's got wood on it, it's, a, you know, not one that you want. Alright, so they're gonna go in there and he's gonna tell us to blow it. So I guess this is like giving us kind of an advantage. We're like, whoa! I told you that was a lot. Oh, now we've got the thermal. All right, here, yeah. See, I remember this. All right, so basically what happens is, is you had we had an M4 with the suppressor and all that, and now that we're like, yeah, you know, screw that stealth thing. Like that's for you know, not for us apparently. Uh, somehow we just lost that, and now we have this. So there it is. That's how we got the thermal. So there's a thermal scar, which it looks a little different. Okay, what's our sidearm here? Okay, our sidearm is the M4 we just had. Which now I'm curious what sidearm we lost that we had with it. This all looks very heavy. It's probably not a great idea using a grenade launcher on an oil rig. Probably not. I mean, this is gonna like turn into like Deepwater Horizon pretty quick. If we're not careful. You know, we're gonna have to make like Mark Wahlberg and jump off. I've actually never seen that movie. Just going based off the, the trailer. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, we got... And then we got, like, the friggin' Captain Phillips boat right there. They're just knocking off every movie. They're even knocking off movies that weren't even out when this game came out. When did Captain Phillips come out? I don't know, like, after this. I don't really remember the year. By the way, this guy who does the voice of, like, the headquarters dude, like, the, you know, it's like, base play, this is Rob, you know, like, that guy, tremendous voice for that. That guy, oh, look, there's an AT-4 right where we friggin' need it. Does this lock on? No. There we go. That was handy. But, uh, yeah, no, that guy is, like, you know, base play, you know, Bravo, it's just tremendous, tremendous, this guy's got the pipes is what I'm saying, like, perfect for that job. All right, so uh, we're just gonna keep 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 hoping it. Um, what are they got? RPGs all lined up, equidistant from one another. That's okay. Flashbang. All right. I don't, why do I not? Oh, okay, I have four. Hey, yo, dude, get out the way! Actually, if you want to do the work, it's fine with me. Okay, this guy can't see anything. Let's our guy. I can't. All right, I can't tell anything today. What is this? These guys are not hitting much. Can I, can I get up here? Wasn't this like a map? I feel like that was a map in one of the games. It was like a big crane thing. I don't really remember. It seems like pretty easy here. Like these guys are not really challenging us. Okay, now they are. There's part of this. There's like a part with a lot of smoke. I, I, I remember there was like a part where there's like dudes with smoke grenades, and that was like really tough. I'm having trouble seeing these guys here. Are these the same? Okay, this guy's got way more ammo in it. One of the things I've noticed in these games, just kind of given the current, uh, like, you know, political, uh, situation, if you will. Uh, like, you notice in all these games, it's just like this, like, non- like, the villain, it's always these, like, nondescript 
just generic Russian dudes. Like, it's every game, every movie. Like, it's never China. And, like, you know, I know there's been, like, uh, you know, people have talked to... Man, it looks friggin' freezing here. But I know people talk about how, like, like the Chinese government, you know, bans, um, you know, anything that's, like... Um, oh, this is the smoke right. Bans, like, anything that's, like... Uh, you know, uh, controversial in China. And so, like, what these game companies and movie companies do, because they're just, you know, they have no regard for anything except, you know, making the shareholders money, uh, is, like, they'll just, you know, they'll, they'll make one game or one movie that they can send everywhere. So, like, they basically, this is how China censors the whole world, is, you know, they've got, you know, a billion people over there, whatever the number is, and so these companies look at, okay, how are we going to grow... Uh, this is the part where we're going to use the thermal. Uh, you know, like, how are we going to make even more money than we're making? And so they look at, oh, well, there's like a friggin', you know, billions of people in Asia. So, like, let's just, you know, basically censor the thing so that we can sell it there. And uh, that's what they do. And then they kind of air the same thing, you know, like an English version in other countries or like whatever language it needs to be. Um, and then basically China kind of censors the world because they know that these companies... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just basically censor things so that they can air it in, you know, China and air it everywhere. And so that's kind of a national security issue that that's what's going on. But, like, it's just interesting because, like, at the time when this came out, you didn't think of that. But now, you know, it's the world being what it is. It's just, like, kind of interesting. Like, I remember, I remember when I started this channel, you know, like, like, even, like, a few years ago, like, doing, like, the crazy GTA plot lines, like, and now it's, like, the world has kind of gotten to a point where, like, the world has crazier plot lines than the fiction, unfortunately. So this is, uh, yeah, so like I said, this was the, this part was really hard on Veteran, because, like, you can't see the dude and you gotta use the scope to see through. And there's a guy just right here, like, a second ago. There he is. Get him? Yeah, I think we got him. Alrighty, so who else are we just gonna kinda see? Oh, there's a guy right there. Got him right through that plywood that he's. You know, I'm on. What, uh. Check a, check a flasher out there. I wonder why I had smoke coming out of it. Oh, so we still got more breaching to do. Alright, that's kinda what we're. That's kinda like what the, the, the problem is. Do you have thermal vision? No. Oh, we just got. Alright, so somebody. Somebody just came up, came up on us. Yeah, this was the part. So you can imagine on veteran, this is like particularly an issue. Yeah, see, did you, yeah, I remember this. This was like a pain in my buttocks. So by the way, Call of Duty Cold War that's coming out uh, looks awesome. Like I really, I, I think like because I know. Activision and the Call of Duty, like, they get a ton of flack for, um, you know, just, they basically had, like, a number of years where they released just crap games that nobody asked for or wanted, but they nonetheless sold a bunch of them because the economics are such where they could really make anything and sell a bunch of them, but, I mean, if you really want to make something that's very popular, uh, you know, they, they kind of had to listen to people, which the last couple years, the Modern Warfare last year, tremendous game. And, you know, by everything I've seen, this uh, Cold War game that's coming out this year looks awesome. Because, I mean, I think it's two years in a row where... Oh, man, this is rigged to blow. Uh, yeah, I mean, basically two years in a row. Uh, like, the, the Modern Warfare game, like, that was one everybody really wanted. You know, really, uh, you know, just salient game that was really what everybody wanted in the moment. And then this year, this uh, Cold War game... Tremendous! It's just because it's like a thing that they never really did one like that. I know Black Ops was sort of like that, but kind of not really. And looks really good. So uh, you know, they're they're seems like they're doing a good job. I mean, because this was this was where it was at. This was like the heyday when we're like getting into little birds on oil platforms. Uh, and anyway, speaking of little birds, we're gonna ride this thing to the gulag. Uh, I don't know how it has that kind of range, but you know, suspend your disbelief. And uh, yeah, we're we're getting locked and loaded because we're gonna go spring Captain Price loose. And the next mission coming up for you. And that was badass. And so what's going to be even more badass is what's coming next. And now it's time for, like, the really badass sound in Radio Shadow. So there's that. And uh, we're on our way to the Gulag, and we'll be coming up next with the next mission. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Oh, be sure to watch. Well, it's kind of late, but hope you watch some Fort Guy. All right, see you soon.